Hello there. How's everybody today? What's up my beautiful people out there in YouTube land? How y'all doing? I hope everybody can uh, give a good report. I hope everybody have a praise on their lips. Anyway, I'm doing, I'm doing very well. And thank you for asking. So anyway, I'm back before you with another video, y'all. And today, guys, I have for you, you know, one of my favorites, a rotisserie chicken. And there's a reason why I chose the chicken today, other, more than just the reason that I had a taste for it. <laughs> but guys, I'm not using any utensils, and I'm just going to rip this chicken uh, apart, you know, using these, probably to try to take out a little bit of my hostility. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, um, without uh, further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, give God the praise for everything, everything he's done for us, guys. I'm talking about from not just for, for, for being Jehovah Jireh, not just for his provision, but for his protection, guys. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you for another day, God, that you have allowed us to wake up. We thank you, Father God, for all that you do. We thank you, Lord God, for this food that I'm about to receive. And I ask that you let it be used as nourishment for, for my body. Remove all the impurities from this food, God. I ask, Father God, that you feed the homeless and the hungry, Lord. Father God, I, I thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord. I ask, Father God, that you would heal those who are sick. And, Father, comfort those who mourn. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, God, and we thank you, thank you, thank you. And I thank him in advance because I believe it's done. All right, all right, all right, all right, y'all. So, anyway, you know. I got my uh, rotisserie chicken, guys, but you know, I know you'll see those fries on the side. I got me some fries, too. And, uh, of course, my banana peppers. And none other than that b Rinder sauce, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I go through so much sauce, but that's because it's so, so good. <laughs> and yet today, I have some bread, guys. You know, I, I wanted to use some rolls, but, you know... Um, I thought I'd just go ahead and use me some bread. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready to go st go ahead and start digging in. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk a little bit, you know, and just, you know, I, I sometimes wish I was live so that we could dialogue, guys, so that we could, you know, talk back and forth. And one day that's going to happen. So anyway, let me go ahead on and get started because uh, I am hungry. I'm hungry today. And uh, I thought this would just really hit the spot. And... Guess what? I was really surprised to even be able to get it. You know, uh, everything, everywhere is out of stock. Everything, everywhere is gone, guys. People, and we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that part, too. So, mmm, it's hot, hot, hot. Woo! Yes. Mmm. Good, good, good. Mm, mm, yeah. You guys know I like your wings. It's my favorite part. Mm, mm. Woo. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I got a long way to go. I'm just going to rip this baby apart. It's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That smoke coming off of it. Can you see it? Yeah. No mercy, guys. No mercy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Y'all, I 
I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. But I got me a pot of water boiling. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. I'm going to tell y'all why. Might want to get you one on the stove. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Hope everybody's doing okay out there, though. You know. Never seen nothing like this in my entire life. Mm. And I haven't seen a lot of stuff. But, this is what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to let this consume my life, you guys. I'm not. You know, one thing about trusting God is, once you pray about it, and say you've given it to him, and you believe that he's going to take care of it, and you believe that he's going to handle it, it ain't yours no more. And for you to keep on worrying about it, talking about it all day and all night, letting it you, you, you took it back out of his hands. You took it back. And so, you know, I'm just really not going to do that because, you know, anything that you obsess over, uh, talk about all day and all night, you give power to that thing. And this thing certainly don't need any more power. Yeah. This chicken is all that. Mm-hmm. It is. Girl, 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 girl. Slow it down. <laughs> mm -mm. Ain't no stopping me now. I have tasted and seen that it is good. <laughs> Woo. And then, yeah. Not to mention that good old beef in the sauce. Mm, 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 mm. I couldn't wait to come back before y'all. Just wanted to make sure that everybody was okay. And... You know, that we wasn't freaking out more, way more than necessary. And don't get me wrong. I'm not minimizing the seriousness of this at all. I'm just only saying that don't let it consume your life. Life goes on. Every day. And believe the one thing. I gotta be out there in it. I have to trust God. And believe that I receive his protection. And another thing I want to say too. For all of you. Who have the kind of job that. You absolutely have to go to. I applaud you. I applaud your, your bravery. And I applaud your dedication. For drinking, guys, I have water today. Me, I have, you know, we're not shut down. And, you know, God forbid, really, because, like, I work for a food distributor, guys.
And if the food distributors shut down, have mercy. Because one thing we're not going to do, we're not going to be hungry. And so, you know, now that is by any means necessary. And that's what the people are going to do. So, you know, the streets would just be hell and chaotic, y'all. So we got to keep the food being, uh, the food going. We got to keep them stocks being able to be shelled. Uh, them shells being able to be stocked, y'all. Whoo, yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yep. So. Yeah, so that's what that's about, guys. Mm, mm. You know, y'all probably uh, think I'd be uh, just uh, going through emotion when I when I be uh, eating this food and I be uh, moan. Listen, I'm serious. Mm hmm. It's something about the sloppiness of it and <laughs> the taste and the. You know, just to get to eat that, you want to eat smack, chew, or whatever you want to do, but. Mmm. A little slurping. <laughs> but anyway. To those of you who are new to my channel, I appreciate you so, 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 so much. And I don't just appreciate you being new to mine. You know, I also uh, 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 appreciate the fact that we can stay together and connect and um, support each other. I, I like that. And so, it's not just one-sided with me. But you know, um, you know, every time I think about it, it's something I know that's missing. But it's okay because you all get caught up on it anyway. But anyway, you know, uh, I ask that you would just uh, continue to uh, uh, view my videos and in, it, uh, in, its, in its entirety, you know, if uh, if you're enjoying it. You know, go ahead and view my videos and, and like them. Like them, share them. And, you know, uh, those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much. But those of you who are, who are not Go ahead. What you waiting for? Hit that button. Hit that button. And not only that, hit that notification bell. So that, you know, because I'm going to have something for you every time. And it's only going to get greater later, guys. So, you know, you don't want to miss out on anything. So hit the notification bell. That way you won't have to go through there searching. But every time I upload, it'll, it'll find you. <laughs> okay? So, yeah, I appreciate it. Mm-mm-mm. So anyway, let me go ahead and explain to you why I had a pot of water boiling. Anyway, and listen, uh, I don't, I don't have any statistics, no facts, or but anyway, it just sounded good to me, guys. It sounded good to me. So anyway, a girl sent me a a video yesterday. That a guy had did. A guy out of Florida. Yeah. Y'all. And I'm gonna pop this off my plate. And, you know, he talked about, of course, of course, what everybody else is talking about, the coronavirus. I don't even like to mention the word because I don't even like to uh, give no strength to it. You know, so, anyway. He talked about his origin. And how that it was bred in cold climates. And you know how a lot of times in jails, hospitals, prisons, institutions where there's a, a large a gathering uh, that they like to keep the climate very cold is because, you know, it uh, uh, keeps down, uh, the, it kills the germs. So, but this one right here, coldness doesn't kill it because it was bred in cold. And so the cold doesn't kill it 
but the, the heat does. Heat kills it. So, you know, um, with, you know, when you're, it gets up in your body, you know, it can't really function the way it wants to because, you know, your body temperature is usually 98 and above, and so that's pretty warm. And so, you know, uh, it, it, it doesn't like uh, warm climates. So, and, and now, this is not my words, but this is what he was saying, and it sounded logical to me. But, you know, back up in here, back in behind your nasal passages, is a cool climate back there. So if, when that virus get in your body, that's where it, it, it'll mutate to. It's behind your nasal passages so that it can build up enough strength back there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, to uh, go ahead and, and inf infiltrate throughout your body or where it want to go into your lungs or whatever. <coughs> and I'm not a doctor, nor a medical professional or anything like that. You could just take this or leave it. And I decided I'd take it because what did I have to lose? So anyway... Uh, since it, uh, heat will kill it, you know, uh, he, he simply just, uh, boiled a pot of water, cut some orange peelings off of it, you know, uh, uh, so you wouldn't, uh, inhale the, uh, chlorine out of the water alone, and, you know, so just put some citrusy, uh, uh, scents in there, get that water to a boil, and when that steam start coming up, just get down in there and breathe up as much of the steam into your nostrils as you can so that it can get back there and into your nasal passages where, if anything is hiding out back there, you know, that the heat from the steam will kill it. And I'm just asking that in Jesus' name, guys. Uh, I, I said, God, I know that the water is not uh, anything by itself, but be in the water. God, be in the steam, you know. And so, look, I'm out, I'm out and about every day. So I don't know who, uh, how, if I've been exposed or not. So I just don't want to take no chances. And you shouldn't either, guys. You know, so anyway, I did. I got that pot of water going. I put my orange peelings in there. And I said, Alexa, set my timer for 15 minutes. And uh, 15 minutes. Uh, Alexa, shut down. <laughs> I forgot she was listening. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, and so I got down in there and, you know, and I, and I breathed as much up through my nostrils as I could. So guys, you know, just, you know, hey, better safe than sorry. And that won't be the only time I do the treatment just because I believe God that uh, uh, he took care of whatever, if there was anything there. But see, I'm believing God that uh, it wasn't even ever nothing there, but just a safety precaution. Just a safety precaution. So anyway, I just want to throw that in there. Because if there is anything to that information, I definitely don't want to be selfish with it. And speaking of selfish, y'all, y'all stop that in them stores. Stop that. Boy, you know, stuff like this, situations like this sure does bring out the worst in people. Wow. In other words, some of y'all don't care if everybody else go uh, uh, to the hills as long as you get what you need. And then you're overkilling it. That's just like the guy that bought uh, uh, 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer. Just so he could take advantage and price gouge and, and sell it on eBay. Well, you got busted. You got busted and, and, and now you're forced to, uh, to donate it. So, you know, listen. Come on now. Come on. Stop it. You know what? The only thing it does is let people see who you really were all the time. What are you doing with the toilet paper? What do you, can you eat it? Can you eat it? And listen, I just don't really get that part. You know, the FDA, now I heard this with my own ears, said there is no food shortage. Buy groceries to last you a week like you've always done. That's the reason why I got to get them go to work every day. So there won't be a food shortage with all these other distributors. You know, guys, stop that. You're showing yourself. You're showing yourself, you know. Uh, some of us can't get one, one, one pack of toilet paper because some of you bought 20. And I'm so glad most of the stores put a limit on you. Because good grief, what are you going to do? Fill up your garage and your shed? What is it with the, the toilet paper is not a cure, guys. And I, okay, newsflash. Because maybe some of you don't know it. But the toilet paper is not a cure. Wow, really? All right. Anyway, yeah. I wanted to get that part out there, y'all. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yep. Gosh, I must be throwing down on this chicken because, 
Well, and it might be this bread too. It's getting me a little full. Y'all, I like to do this. I lick my hands, y'all. They clean. Mm, look at that. Can you see it? All them peppers and onions. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Good, y'all. Good, good. Mm. Mm-mm. You know, I haven't even seen uh many of my family members because just because I get out here every day, you know, and, and make that sacrifice to go and do what I have to do. doesn't mean I'm willing to expose anyone else. So, I love mine. And I love y'all too. And I hope y'all are really okay. Mmm. I am, I'm getting full up in here. I don't know. It's probably because the food is so good. I'm eating so fast. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to tell you, them, st them stories is a sight for sore eyes to see. <laughs> mm. Almost infecting if you let it. If you did it, listen. Yeah. To some, it has been, but for the most part, this is no longer a death sentence. And the thing is, if you contracted it and you were blessed to be able to uh, to beat it, you can never get it again. You know, uh, the the medical professional says it's like maybe the measles, measles or the chicken pox. Like, you know, you can get it once, but then, then, then it builds up your immune system to the point where you, you can't get it again. So don't be scared. And really, I really didn't even get on here to talk about that because, you know, I just got done saying, you know, I don't really want to give no power to it, but I do want to say it to you guys because stop giving power to it. You know, uh, 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 pray, believe in God, trust him to do what he said he would do. And, you know, just move on with your life. Move cautiously, though. You know, don't, don't, don't be silly about it, but move with, ca move with caution. You know, but don't, don't, don't let it consume you. Yeah. Mm. And as y'all can see, I'm out there moving around. I don't have my bracelet on the day. I did contact the detective today, though. Holler back at me because uh, I ain't heard from you in a couple weeks. So, I, 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 you know, and I appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, it's a lot going on. But the coronavirus haven't stopped a lot of stuff. It didn't stop y'all from making that massive drug bust the other day. You know, so... Uh, it shouldn't stop the, the investigation from going forward, you know. And uh, so, yeah. I need to hear from you. And I need to know uh, what's the progress. What's the progress on this? I'm ready to get this thing done. I'm ready to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, get it behind us. Get it behind us, yeah. But shout out to Raquel, my beautiful baby girl, you know, who, who was murdered this uh, late last year. And, uh so right now we're we're seeking uh justice. We're seeking justice. For those of you who tuned in late and or, or don't know, yeah, so that's what it is. And you know, stay safe, stay safe. You can't trust everybody, y'all. Just can't trust everybody. You know, you, sometimes you be thinking, you know, you, you got your ace boom coon with you and what is an ace boom coon for real? It ain't like it used to be. Mm, mm, mm. It just ain't like it used to be, y'all. Hmm. Mm. 
I came in last night. People, you know, so many rumors going around. I just don't be wanting to hear that. Even rumors from higher up, higher up. <laughs> so, until I found out what the real deal was, as much as possible, I got on that phone. I called in this morning, y'all. Water is good. I got on that phone and I called in. Because one thing I'm not going to do is just jump out there in the blind. Yeah, so. And not only that. We got to work tomorrow. Today is Friday, but we still we have to work Saturday, so, you know, but I, at least I know what I know, you know, before I jump in my car and get ready to beat it down that highway, y'all. So, you know, again, you guys, uh, don't forget, don't forget, you know, I know sometimes, you know, uh, uh, at the beginning of the videos, you know, we, we, we ask you to like, share, and subscribe to the videos, and by the time the video is over, you know, and you just click off of it. If you watch it that long, and I hope you do, but you just click off of it, you know, and go and move on to the next thing. But listen, you can do it right now. Go ahead and like. Like the video. Like my video, guys. Share it. Share it to one of your friends. You know, this information could be very, uh, very useful to someone who might not otherwise get it. Uh, so share this video. And, uh, uh, and then uh, go ahead and subscribe. You know, go ahead and subscribe to it. And hit that notification bell, y'all. Yep. So, you know, I'm not going to be uh, with you too much longer. I'm going to uh, get ready to get on out of here. I'm sitting up here kind of stuffed right now. I am kind of tore this chicken apart. Um, I think I got my best parts off of it. But, you know, uh, like, I don't like all the parts of the chicken because some of it is just a little bit too dry for me. But I ain't got there yet. So, I'm still eating, guys. I'm still eating. You know, so, um, yeah. So, you know, I just want y'all to stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up, y'all. And, you know, uh... Many of you are, are not with me on Facebook, but, you know, I did post a, a post yesterday. And listen, this is, this is what I want you to do. This is what God wants you to do. You know, the scripture says this in 2 Chronicles 7.14, and I've been seeing that scripture go around a lot. But it really doesn't matter how, long, how many times it go around. It doesn't matter how, how many times your eyes see it if you don't heed to it. You know, Lord, listen. Our land need to be healed, guys. And that particular part of a text, it's, he's telling us how to do it. He says, if my people, <coughs> excuse me, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves, seek my face, and pray, and turn from their wicked ways. And that's not asking too much. Turn from your wicked ways. He said, then... I will hear you, hear you from heaven. I'll hear you if you do that. He said, and I will forgive your sins, and I'll heal your land. So whatever we've done, you know, well, however we've trespassed, he's, he's saying, well, he'll, forgive, he'll look over that, he'll forgive that, you know, and then he'll heal. Listen, our land needs a healing. He says he'll heal our land, y'all. Do you want the land healed? Considering everything that's going on, and, and this thing is, is just not, it, it's just really the tip of the iceberg. You know, so, you know, if we don't uh, start taking heed to what he's saying for us to do, you know, and really, it's really just not that difficult. You know, you don't have to give up, you know, your life. You know, just, you know, get yourself in a position where, you know, uh, uh, you, you can depend on God and you can believe in him. You know, believe in his word. His word is true. I, you know, I mean, uh, many, some of you don't believe it, but it really is. It is so true. And if you just look around, you'll see it. You know, uh, it's, it's unfolding right in front of us. It's unfolding right in front of us. So, you know, you can have it your way or we can have it his way. So, you know, I choose to have it his way. I don't like life to be hard. I don't. You know, guys, so uh, take that into consideration. Second Chronicles 7, 14. You know, read it. Read it. Meditate on it. And, you know, uh, do it. Be doers of the word, not just hearers only. Yep. And so, you know, we're all working on that. You know, none of us is perfect. You know, we all fall short of the glory of God. 
But we fall, but we get back up and try it again. Get back up and try it again. Because listen, he really is where your help going to come from. And I'm not just saying this to just to be a beating a dead horse guy. Guys, he is really our help. You know, and I know it better than almost anybody, uh, considering where, where I've been and where he done brought me from. So, you know, uh, stay blessed. Stay blessed. And, uh, you know, uh, continue to uh, uh, trust him. Trust him if you never had before. Uh, there's no better time than to do it right now. You know, and, um, you know, I love y'all. And let's pray for each other. We got, we, listen, it's praying time, y'all. It's praying time. So that's what we have to do, you know. And um, uh, just, you know, stay, stay, uh, stay hopeful. You know, there's always hope, you know, and uh, keep hope alive. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm thinking about you when I'm not with you. You know, so have a, an amazing day, really. Have an amazing day. Put all that stuff to the side. Put all that stuff to the side for, for a little while. Give your mind a break. And, you know, just go forth and have an amazing day. I love you, and I hope you all peace. Mwah.